What's going on guys? I'm here with some more Pac-12 Dynasty, of course, playing with my Washington Huskies. And I have a lot of catch-up to do in this series. I haven't posted an episode in a little while, but we've been playing very consistently and we're already towards near the end of the season. And so I got some catch-up to do. I got some games I can edit. And so I hope you guys are looking forward to more episodes in this series. And if you are supporting the series, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. We're playing against the Stanford Cardinal in this episode. Very good player. I know he's been in the Dynasty for a while, and so I knew it was going to be a great game. And I go three and out here on my first drive with Washington and so now he has the ball and he wants to run the ball up the middle Stefan Taylor up the middle for a first down we go ahead now to the next play and he's gonna snap the ball and hand the ball off again to Stefan Taylor up the middle get a solid eight nine yards on that carry and so already he's looking like he wants to do a lot of power running a lot of eye formation just power smash mouth football it's gonna be a test of strength between his front or my front seven and his offensive line and now does a direct snap to Stefan Taylor on third down but we do catch him and he gets no yards and so he comes out on fourth and two he's gonna go for it. he has two receivers out twin tight ends man in motion going to the right side now what is he gonna do here he's gonna throw it and back to pass he finds this man open that's gonna be a first down for the Cardinal and that keeps the drive alive as the risk pays off for him as he's close to my red zone now and he wants to spread the field a little bit now with four receivers and he's under pressure but he's gonna escape the pocket find the open man and it's gonna be a touchdown for the Cardinal nice catch and run and it's seven nothing Stanford I'm on off Offense. Now he wants to send the house at me and make me under pressure. Looking for Austin Safari and Jenkins, my tight end. Can't get him the ball, so third down and eight now. Price fires to the open spot, but no receivers can get to it in time. And so it's Stanford ball again as our offense is off to a very slow start over the middle, close to a first down on second and 14. Don't want to give up all that yardage on second down and make an easy third down. They hand the ball to Stefan Taylor. No problem there, first down, Stanford. Second and 10. Do it again. Taylor off the right side now, not running up the gut as much run a little off tackle and so third and two comes out I formation two receivers left and a fullback dive I really thought I was gonna go to Stefan Taylor and so he gets the first down and now second down and 11 trying to send the pressure at him we do get him and it's lucky we did because otherwise he would have had a big first down probably and that brings up third down and 11 looking for a stop here we gotta hold him here at the 40 yard line back to throw and it's gonna be almost intercepted should have been a pick but we'll take it anyway he's gonna punt the ball and we have the ball now price out of the shotgun trying to evade some rush he throws it at me and we're gonna hit James Johnson on the outside he tried to bump my receiver a little bit and he got off the press very easily and had some open space and so a big first down now for the Huskies and I'm not sure exactly what happened right here I think what happened is that I called a quarterback draw and I hate how it like you can only control your player after like half a second or whatever it has like the computer to do certain animations and whatnot before you even have control and it, it messed me up and so then I take a sack fourth and 16 great defense so far from Stanford holding me to only a couple of first downs in the first half now they have the ball screen pass Stefan Taylor and luckily we made that tackle there to force third down and nine those screen passes always catch me off guard I'm very bad at defending them or being ready for them I should say and then he goes outside and he makes the catch that's Stefan Taylor again the workhorse in this offense and now they're going to hand him the ball and some good blocking off the edge he's going to get up to the 45 yard line using a little strength as well Stefan Taylor's running the ball very effectively and now blocks are still being effective here in the second level safeties and corners cannot get anything no pursuit at all towards the running back and then he spreads the ball out wants to throw it long under pressure and he's going to break a tackle inside the 30 yard line first down I hit him with Sean Parker I wish he would have fumbled there but with four seconds left it's close enough for him to go for the field goal now after he broke a tackle with Brett Nottingham and the kick is up it splits the uprights 10-0 Cardinal at the half and he gets the ball to open up the third and so we definitely want to get a stop here on second down and nine sending some pressure he throws it awkwardly on the screen pass and we're there to make the tackle on Stefan Taylor so third down and nine can we get the defense to do it one more time no blitz this time wanted to be safe in coverage and we'll take it you can have your five yards we want the football, so punt the ball now to Washington as Price looks to get this offense finally going in this game. Second and five over the middle. I mean, those passes right there, that Kevin Smith pass lost the yard for us. So I'm definitely not doing a great job in this game so far with my offense. Third and six. Don't want to go three and out here. And the catch is made by Kevin Smith. Good block, and that's going to get us to the 50-yard line. We're in business. We're almost in Cardinal territory. First and ten, hand the ball off to Jesse Callier up the middle. Run into a blocker and get tackled for a loss of one. Second down and 11. Now split backs have a fullback as well as Jesse Callier. And hit as I throw as the Cardinals getting great pressure in this game, disrupting my passing attack and making, well, we would have been a one-dimensional offense if we could have actually done one of the two dimensions right. And so I spread out the field and send my guys deep in. DeAndre Campbell with the big touchdown catch. Our first points on the day. Huge touchdown strike from Keith Price to DeAndre Campbell. 
Bulls were on the board now 7-10. to But Stephon Taylor, he is not slowing down. So we're late in the third quarter. It is 10-7. to And they're going back. That could have been dangerous right there. But he gets the pass out to Stephon Taylor. And he's going to get the first down, outrunning our linebackers. Couldn't get enough pursuit on him. And then second and eight. We'll bring the pressure this time and get the sack. So third and 15. We could stop him here, get the football, maybe go down and take the lead. But first got to get the stop. He has a, a bunch set. And now he's going to throw it long. One on one. And I knock it away with the user SWAT. And so that was a good play by me. Good user defense there to force fourth down. And now we're going to get the football. So to open the fourth quarter, Keith Price is going to get drilled and sacked. And that's why I've been playing so much out of the shotgun. I don't want to have to evade so much pressure under center. So I'm trying to spread the field out and get mismatches if he wants to blitz me. And then I have to try to throw the Jesse Callier out of the backfield. That doesn't work. So third and 19 now. And I'm going to dump it off of DeAndre Campbell. And I'm going to take seven yards and punt the ball. And so once again, defense. Hands the ball off up the middle. That's going to be a first down as he's at midfield now. And it's first and 10 again. Hand the ball off. Stephon Taylor. We brought some rush up the middle. But Taylor was able to evade it and get eight yards on this carry. So he's he's a great running player. He was running the ball very effectively. And now he wanted to do some option, and he had second thoughts, I guess, and we drill his quarterback. And so he's going to run hurry up now, third down and three. We can stop him here, get the ball back, and be in pretty good shape. So tight end going out to the right side now. Back to throw over the middle, and it was close. It was close. Fourth down and inches, and he's going to run hurry up again and go for it. So we know eyes need to be on the fullback or Stefan Taylor, and he tries to jump me off sides of the hard count and gets a false start penalty, backs him up five yards, and then he punts the football. So 3.43 to go. Keith Price hands the ball to Jesse Callier, left side. Pretty good defense, though, especially on the edge here. No room to run for Callier as it's now second down and 10. Price back to throw. He's going to roll out to his right, trying to find a man getting open. Throws it across the field, actually, to Jesse Callier. And I thought I would have had something there, but once again, the pursuit was just too quick, and Stanford's defense was closing in on my players really quickly. So I had to get some different tactics going here. But on third down 11, I'm just going to take a shot deep. Let's go long, almost picked off. So... Fourth down 11. Once again, defense needs another stop because of my inability to play offense in this game. But Stefan Taylor, tremendous blocking. Stanford has some great blocking tight ends on this team. I mean, our guys are not shedding them at all, and Stefan Taylor is busting off some big gains. We are inside 120 to go. He goes for a mid-screen, and so it's going to be third down 11. If we can hold him to a field goal, we have a shot with a touchdown on an extra point. So third and 11, going end zone, almost intercepted, and he could have almost caught it off of the tip. And so he goes for the field goal now to make it a six-point ball game. We're going to be all roughly 113 to go on the clock as I get the ball now. And we got to get it going on offense. This is our last chance probably with three timeouts, just over a minute to go. Price scrambling out of the pocket now. Room to run, edging towards the first down, marker towards the sideline, and out of bounds after getting the first. So that's a start right there to this drive. First and 10, Price now needs to go get a complete pass. Austin Safarian Jenkins inbounds and gets out of bounds. No using timeouts yet. Then I wanted to catch him off guard with a run up the middle to get closer to like the 40-yard line at least. Hail Mary range I'm talking about. And so we get the 8-yard carry of Jesse Kelly and then we hand the ball off to him again. And there's more room to run now as we're close to the 30-yard line. And we're pretty comfortable at this place. And so first and 10 now. Price rolling to his right. Callier out of the backfield on the wheel route. Getting close to the first down. Spin move and short of the first down by one yard. Run and hurry up here. Don't want to use both timeouts yet. We have two still. 15 seconds. Price going to go outside to Jesse Callier. And it's intercepted. Just a bad read on my part. And I did not need to throw the ball at that time. He had no pressure on me. It was just something I rushed. I was focused on Callier because he was wide open on that wheel route before. Thought I could hit him again on the sideline and get a touchdown or something like that, a big play. And it was just a bad call on my part. And overall, really poor game. I mean, I got some plays when I needed to at the very end, but I need to play an overall better game on offense, especially with some of the firepower I have. Price is a great quarterback, and I got some good receivers. And I really got to start scoring some more points. And so hats off to Stanford and the Stanford coach in the Pac-12 dynasty. But now we're going to do some recruiting. And, of course, after getting so much pressure in that game, I like to get some offensive linemen, preferably an All-American caliber five-star offensive lineman, a 6'7 bookend. That's what I want right now. I want just a monster. The Vikings got Matt Khalil. I would like another Matt Khalil here for my Huskies in this series. And so we're looking for a five-star guard as well going against Nebraska and K-State. But 84 run block, 82 pass block, exactly what I'm looking for. Although at 266, I'm not really sure he's much of a steamroller, but I'll go for him anyway. Then Baba Tunde Williams. I'm going off this one based off a name, basically. If that guy's on my defense, he will put fear into the hearts of everybody in this dynasty. Now Travis Walker is four-star corner looking at 
Boise State. I'm in second place, though. I'm going to give him a visit, come to see Utah when I play Chris the Dog. I'm definitely looking forward to that match. And so I think I'm doing a pretty good job at recruiting, looking at some good prospects that are going to really help with this team. And a five-star receiver here looking at Notre Dame and USC. But i got to get some five stars here. I mean, Washington is a very good school. Look at their roster. They have some young talent. This is a team that I think is going to be very good in the second season of this dynasty. I'm really looking forward to it. And so I want to get some impact players in this recruiting class for next year to hopefully make a big push. But right now, coming off of that loss, we look ahead to playing the Oregon Ducks, number two in the nation. And so thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video, please, if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.